Okay, before we start anything on today's uh, topic of discussion, I'm going to go ahead and react to the video first, slash the song, and uh, I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. So brace yourselves. A few moments later. Not even five seconds in, I quit that fucking video. That shit was ass. Fuck happened. See, now that I listened to the fucking song, now that my computer won't even fucking work. What the fuck? KSI, you owe me another fucking laptop. Okay, finally back from listening to the fucking most ass song of all fucking year. Like, god damn, bro. Actually, actually, I would rather literally stick my nose in some actual ass, you know. Stick my tongue up somebody's butthole rather than, you know, endure that shit ever again. Joking, KSI, okay, chill the fuck out. I don't think you'll ever see this, but... I actually do have an honest opinion about this shit, okay? I'm not gonna bandwagon like everyone else. Everybody is, is fucking riding the wave of the hatred, you know? But I'm not I'm not gonna do that here today. I'm here to give you my honest review on this shit. And what I believe is... Boy, did that fucking suck ass, bro. God damn, bro. No te creas, KSI. No te creas, mijo. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing, bro. Chill, chill. Okay. Brutally honest here, okay? KSI, I don't think you'll ever see this, but to give you a little bit of hope, okay? Um, not to just give you a little bit of hope. This is actually my opinion, okay? No one is fucking pressuring me. Nobody has a gun pointed to my head at all. Maybe. I hate the fucking song, big dog. You better fucking say the truth. That shit was ass, boy. You better fucking say the right thing, bro. You better say the right thing with this fucking black lack. It's gonna go black black all over your fucking head, boy. You wet back immigrant looking son of a bitch. No, nobody has a fucking gun pointed to my head. Nobody, okay? But here's the thing, okay? Think of it, in my honest opinion, overall the music video, there was one thing, one thing, okay, that I do find a little bit humorous and it's a bit laughable. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't really find anything to really laugh at besides one little shot. And that was that motherfucking Prime body. Oh. Now, overall, to me, Prime, I, I'm not a big fan of Prime, okay? I And in general, I'm not a big fan of energy drinks. I'm not a big fan of Red Bull. I'm not a fan of Monster Energy drinks. I'm not a fan of fucking 5-Hour Energy. I'm not a fan of whatever is out there. I don't even know if Prime is exactly an energy drink, but that's what I've been seeing all line. It's just like it's a fucking energy drink or it's been advertised this way. I, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't pay attention to prime all that much okay i haven't tried a funky a fucking lunchly i have not fucking um i don't even know what what else do they fucking do it was like lunchly they have prime and i feel like there's something else and also just think of it okay i just i heard the song for the very first time ever okay i don't think the song is bad but i don't think the song is great or good okay i think it's a decent song but here's here's the thing ksi before you click before you, you know, lose your shit. Again, I really don't think he's going to see this video, but I'm really talking to the masses. I'm going to get my shit rocked in the comments, too. People are going to be like, he's doing fucking flips on that dick. Which, calm down, you fucking Gen Z millennial sons of bitches. All this fucking summer, you're riding the coattails of fucking your Drakey boy, your Ovioi son of a bitch. All right, and that shit was ass mother. Fucker, bro. Imagine if I was a cop. That motherfucker would have been promoted. But I don't think the song is really all that bad. I don't think it really deserves the hatred that it's been getting, okay? I really don't get it, alright? It's just, again, people writing the coattails, especially after all the shit that has been, you know, listened to. I mean, Drake's fucking diss tracks, Kendrick's diss tracks. And even then, I'm a huge fan, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm being serious, okay? Here comes the Drake fans. They're going to be like, wow, he's fucking doing flops. It's nothing like that, bro. Because I'm going to be honest with you, okay? I don't even think Dot really did his best, okay? In all of that, you know, beef, okay? I don't think he did, you know, his most brutal fucking massacre just yet. Like, people say he's fucking dancing on the grave. Bro, I, I, I don't even think Not Like Us, okay? Which is a great song. It's a really badass, like, party song. Um... But I, I, it's nowhere near to the fucking diss tracks that I like to listen to. Uh, for example, like, um, uh, here we go. You don't win a hundred miles, but you still got one to go. With L-E-N-C-H-M-O-B, y'all disgrace the CPT. Getting fucked out your green by a white boy with no Vaseline. Now that right there is a fucking diss track. I know I did a bad job about doing that shit, but I don't have the greatest of microphones or some shit. And also, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember the lyrics off the top of my head. I've been listening to... Not Like Us, because it's been on fucking repeat. I don't hate Not Like Us. I actually, I enjoy it, but I... 
the fan that I am of, of Kendrick's, like when I went to his um his damn tour, when I went to go see that shit in Casey, and when I did, and when I went to go see uh uh the Mr. Uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers tour, I just enjoyed the music. I didn't, I could care less about anything else. I enjoyed watching uh Kendrick re- perform and all that shit. Like it was such a fucking eye opener. It's it's such a badass thing just to see artists doing their thing, you know. And in this case, motherfucker, got logged out like that. What the fucking shit? But I think KSI's Thick of It, this is what I think ultimately of it. It's not a bad song. It doesn't deserve the hatred that it's getting. But at the same time, it's not a good song. Now, why do I say that? For me personally, it's not a song that I can listen to on repeat, okay? Blue Lips by Schoolboy Q has been on repeat for the whole fucking summer. Like, I... I, I could care less about, um, you know, fucking, god damn, this fucking game. I could care less about, you know, Not Like Us. I could care about Drake's bullshit. I could care less about um, any other artist out there, you know, really. Because to me, no one compares as much to Schoolboy Q's Blue Lips, okay? And um, I'm being serious. Like, that shit was on repeat for me the whole summer. Like, uh, fucking uh, Lovebirds. That shit went hard in the fucking paint. Like, that that was my fucking song right there. That that shit goes hard in the fucking paint. Made at least about 300. That's what got me here. And I'm fresh in. Fresh out. Just left my magic ears. Better rinse out your mouth and get your homie pierced. Got a house full of whores. Ain't no homies here. Got a NASCAR get floored. I'm an engineer. Got a spaceship go orb. Ain't no limit near. Heard that new shit was bored. Homie disappear. Now that right there. Now that right there is some West Coast shit right there. KSI take some fucking notes. I kid, I kid, I kid, bro. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. We're talking about your song today, okay? We're here to poke fun at that shit. I think, I think Thick of It just belongs to a group of games like, uh, I'm gonna get so much shit from what I'm about to say. I just know it. I think Thick of It belongs to, uh, the way the instrumental goes, the way the lyrics are. I think it belongs to a game like, uh, FIFA slash FC. Or uh, even like, um, I know this is going to sound even crazier. Um, I, the only reason why I'm saying crazier or like I'm going to get a lot of flag for it. But I really do strongly believe this. I believe that it belongs to FC, belongs to FIFA. I believe it belongs in um, in fucking, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Forza Horizon. Okay. I know I'm going to get fucking flagged for that one. I just know, I know. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna get shat on for that one. Other games, I can't really think of it off the top of my head. I was gonna say the SSX franchise, but that's no longer with us today. And on top of that, I actually would probably have to take that back because overall, the SSX3 game itself had a soundtrack for the fucking decades. I mean, that that fucking game alone with the soundtrack that had is just light years compared to a lot of the games and their soundtracks today. It just does not fucking compare, man. Like, no game of today in their soundtrack compares to, like, something of uh, Midnight Club 3 or even SSX3, okay? Um, but I really do strongly believe that uh, if, if he, if he would have said, you know, which, I mean, if, only if it was true. But, I mean, what I do appreciate about KSI is the fact that he still has the confidence in his song. Um, however, it's uh, very, very mistaken confidence. Oh, man, he's, uh, I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. I'm glad. I'm glad he's. I'm glad he's confident in this shit. Okay, I really am glad that he's confident in his own song. But I, I just, it doesn't belong in the masses of um, Gen Z. It doesn't belong in the masses of uh, millennials or anything like that. Like it's just, it's a sort of song that belongs to like, you know, the younger generation. You know what I mean? Like the babies right now. You know what I mean? Like the teenagers right now. Because uh, a lot of us Gen Zers are about to head into our 20s or already in our 20s, okay? And we're used to certain sounds now, you know? And right now, as, especially millennials, they're used to a specific kind of sound, you know what I mean? They're used to, you know, their Dr. Dre, they're used to their Snoop Dogg, they're used to the game, they're used to their Nas, they're used to their Jay-Zs and all that, you know? And I don't blame them, you know? I'm used to Kendrick, Scuba Q, Absol, J-Rock, Isaiah Rashad, motherfucking Sir... Uh, motherfucking Lansky Walker. I'm used to SZA, Devin Malik. Fucking who else is out there, man? I mean, there, there's just there's so many fucking great artists, you know, for our generation. But for me, for thick of it, I just think it belongs in the category of like the young young kids. You know what I mean? Like I said, it sounds it, it really does sound like a friendly kind of song. You know, it doesn't sound 
super aggressive, but it doesn't sound too soft. I mean, it really, it, I, I really do believe it belongs to like, uh, you know, much more friendlier kind of generation right now, you know. Um, not saying that the younger generation is soft, but they're growing right now. They're growing, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, they'll figure out their own sounds. We already have our own. I'm, oh, fuck, I picked Dead Center. I wanted fucking Dark Carnival. If you were to ask me on a scale of 1 to 10 to rate the song, I'm going to be honest with you. I'd probably give it because I, this is going into, this is all, this rating is based on because I, what I listen to personally and what I don't listen to, what I like and what I don't like, okay? The song really falls, okay, and I, and I, I really hate to give this to KSI, okay? Um, I really don't. But again, honesty, okay? It's just something I, I don't listen to on the on the low ski, okay, on repeat. But am I going to go over to some little kid and turn off his fucking, you know, um, Bluetooth speaker because he's playing this shit? No, I'm not going to be a fucking asshole. First of all, because that's rude, for one. And second, I don't mind listening to the song. But am I listening it? And am I gonna put it on my fucking playlist? No, no, no chance, bro. I mean, fucking, I, I got Schoolboy Q. I got fucking all sorts of other artists on that track right now, bro. I got, I got so many fucking other people right now that I, I gotta, I gotta listen to right now. But thick of it, it's not a bad song, man. I, I don't get all the hatred it's getting. I honestly think it's a decent song. I think it's an all right song. Um, but again, KSI, you don't take this personally. It's just, it's not something I listen to. But I really don't understand all the hatred that it's getting. I don't get, you know, all the people that are bandwagoning on the fucking hate train for it. I mean, I mean, it's it's been, it's been fucking gnarly. Some of the comments are just fucking ruthless, man. Somebody said, I've been sick for so many months. And when KSI dropped this, I was able to finally get out of bed so I could go in and turn off that shit. Or even there's one comment I can't even fucking uh, remember what it said. I mean, it was so much in that one fucking comment, but... Somebody said something along the lines of if it had a different sound, if it had a different instrumental, if it had a different fucking, you know, context and this and that, if it had a different genre, you know, I think it would have slapped. I think I think it would have it would have fucking done numbers or whatever the fuck. But everybody's on the hate train for this song, but I I don't I don't get it. I I just I'm over here like it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I've heard. Look, here's the thing. Okay. I, I I won't I'm not necessarily defending K man I'm gonna fucking die aren't I wow what a bitch CKSI take lessons from the tank that's how fucking hard your fucking song has got to be slapping bro for example Lamborghini bitch I know you see me in my Lamborghini see what happened to sounds like that what the fuck are you doing hitting me with bro what the fuck also KSI like I don't think you'll ever see this but man stop taking it to heart brother I mean it's just it is what it is man I mean you know how it is with the internet bro Everybody, you know, like, I know I'm going to catch so much fucking flack for this, but I, I know, I know, like, uh, the internet is just ruthless, man. I'm going to catch so much flack for even defending you in the first place. But again, I'm being honest. I don't think the song is bad. I think people are just, you know, just shitting on it because everyone's shitting on it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just the whole, like, for me, I, I'm a big, huge fan of Kendrick Lamar. But do I think Not Like Us is a, you know, an amazing song? No. No, not not in the fucking slightest. Like it's a dope ass song to you know get groovy to, to dance to and shit. Hell yeah, but I don't think K Dot intended it for it to be like that kind of shit that he's been on. You know, here's the other thing also that took me over by the summer, right? I found a copy of To Pimp a Butterfly, and you best believe I went back to that shit. I found a copy. It was sealed. It was brand new. Um, I wanted to listen to that again because to me, To Pimp a Butterfly is still one of the greatest fucking albums of all fucking time i don't care what anybody says all the drake fucking people they're gonna be like man he's doing fucking backwards holy fuck okay you little fat fuck you fucking academics looking fat bitch shut your fucking mouth you're doing fucking hopscotch on the fucking drake's wee wee with all that bullshit he's been spewing on the latest albums like her loss or whatever that fucking album i didn't even listen to that album i just i i saw the album cover and i was like yeah that shit's ass or honestly never mind it dude i do come on come on or, or even, uh, what's that dumbass fucking uh, album he released um, with all the pregnant women emoji, whatever. That, that shit was fucking stupid. I don't even, I, I think, oh man, I'm going to catch some of flag, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with whatever. Once, Easy E once said it. Easy E once said this, okay? All publicity is good publicity. I think, think of it, it is going to be a hot ass take and I don't care. I'm just here to piss people off. I think, think of it, 
is probably better than most of what uh, Drake has released in recent memory. I, I, I said it. I don't give a fuck. You can suck my ass. You know, you do flips on my dick. You can leave a comment. I don't care. Again, Easy e once said it. All publicity is good publicity. So suck my ass. Or maybe I can suck your ass. I don't know. Whatever you're into. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. But KSI, if you do ever watch this video, I don't think think of it's that bad. I think people are just, you know, bandwagoning off the fucking hatred. Um... That the fact that I, I think it's it's the cool thing right now that people are uh, all hating on that song but do I think it's bad no but um again it's not something that I listen to so I don't really think it's that great in the first place but I don't think it's bad I've heard worse I've heard of sexy red I've heard I've listened to sexy red before I've listened to ice spice that's some bullshit I've listened to Drake's recent bullshit come on that shit think of it's way better bro come on chill your shits okay chill your shits anyways Hope you all enjoyed the video. KSI, hopefully it gives you a little bit of hope. And uh, take care.